well, well, well. Guy Brush Streetwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you can help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. And of course, if you want to see that LeChuck evaporating story as many times as you want, don't forget to try out the Grim Plays Secret of Monkey Island series. We've got the whole playlist available for you now. This is actually the second game. So make sure you check out that first game, then you can enjoy this hey, first one. Hey, you guys get out of here! Thank you, Ron Gilbert, and Tim Schafer, Tammy Borowick, Dave Grossman, Brett Barrett. Monkey Island are the best games. They really are. Especially the first two. Right, let's head back to the uh, special edition. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about the Chuck anymore. Steven Weenies. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations Is to that come. How much I can only charter a ship was. and get off this stinking island. I think that's like a sort of in joke to how much games used to cost. This may be a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to how rich I'll be when I find Big Whoop. I think I'm pretty well prepared financially for now. I should be set for the whole trip with this. This should be plenty of money to charter a ship. Okay, let's go into town. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Who's gonna make me, shorty? Tough guy, huh? <laughs> Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want! There's no police on Scab Island! Okay, put me down now and I won't have to hurt you! <laughs> That's a good one! Maybe I won't kill you right now! Whoa! Hey! You're loaded! This is my lucky night! Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre! Hmm. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Yeah. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. Alright, let's explore. 
It says Woody. That's me. Hey, don't touch that. It's not a toy. <clears throat> yeah? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a wood could... But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amounts of wood, what amounts of wood would a woodchuck chuck? But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck could woodchuck wood. A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. <laughs> How much wood could a woodchuck chuck a woodchuck could chuck wood? Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Hello. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a chuck busting stud. Uh huh. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work too. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. You know, artsy fartsy stuff. Maps are very, very important. How's business? Terrible. No one needs any maps since no one can go anywhere thanks to Largo. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. How can I get off this island as soon as possible? Good luck! With a sailing embargo Largo's imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. Well, well, aren't we jumpy? You would be too if you were me. I've been researching Big Whoop for years. There are a lot of people who'd like to get their hands on my files. Can I see your files? Actually, there's not anything in them. I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? 
I know its location is a mystery. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Tell me all Clues. about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them, and they all went their separate ways. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library, if it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Is longitude the sideways one, or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. Mm. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Hey, me too! Yeah. Maps. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, uh, see ya. Okie dokie. Alright. So there's a new chef here. And there's... I guess that's that bit. Let's head to the ship. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. No, we don't clean leather. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well... No. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Oh no, these guys! <clears throat> what is it? Remember me? I'm Guybrush. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map? <laughs> map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really? Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips and search nice. for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You so see, it's drinky we got a bit of a raw island. deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a How tiny desert island. Notice? When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. 
What? What is it? What did he say? Tell me already! He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became Sounds performance familiar. artists. But when he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, uh, so to speak. Right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um... What? But... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well... We're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh... Uh... Hmm... Stupidity? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like... Orcaphobia. Sounds more like workaphobia to me. Say what you will. And a phobia of words is actually down. called ergophobia. Look at that, I learned that at school. My science teacher had a phobia a day calendar. It's the only one I remember because I tried claiming I had it. Ergophobia. Fear of work. Unfortunately, didn't get me out of homework. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! Oh god, he's deaf. Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes as clean as they can be. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Yeah. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. It reads, Jojo. Appearing nightly. No cover charge. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Grog, please. The shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Shh. Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance Ooh. pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Hey, hired help only. Ooh, fishies. All right, so that window showed up. 
let's have a look at the window. Oh! Sharp! Oh, I got a knife. Oh, that's the last one to go in. Oh, and then I got to buy that wood polish. It's tied to the post. Oh, isn't that cute? I could lose a finger doing that. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. Why well, you got nine hooks? Hold it right there. That's a private room. No going up there. It's securely fastened. It's securely fastened. It's securely fastened. Okay. I can't pull it. If I cut it. Hey! How'd old peg biter get loose? I'd better go catch him before he catches somebody else. <laughs> Cheese squigglies, one of my favorites. Yeah. It doesn't seem Ooh, to stay closed. Oops. Who let you into my room? I, uh, thought it was my room? Well, it ain't! So get the f*** out of here! Damn. <laughs> I think he actually swore at me. Okay, let's... Go get that, um... Let's get that wood polish. <clears throat> yeah? Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Well, I don't want to look around a bit. That's, That's all I wanted from you. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Yay, I'm making my money back. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. I've no idea if I need this money, but I'm sure you wouldn't do this. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. No, stop it. Right. 10, 11, 12. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. I think he wanted me to polish it for him. Thanks! Thanks. Here's, Here's a, a piece, piece of, of eight, eight for your trouble. trouble. 
thanks. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Yeah, I'm. Oh, I think that's probably all he's going to do now. Isn't it? I've got eleven pieces of eight. Let's go have a look at the rest of the islands. That's where we start the game. There's a swamp, there's a cemetery, a peninsula with a houseboat on it, maybe. Oh, hey, this is the island that he's got in uh, the wall he's got. Is this Kate? I mean, it might be one of my absolute favourite Monkey Island games, this one, but I just can't remember much because it's been so long since I played it. Hello? Hello, man. My name's Captain Dredd. What can I do for you? Navy Dreads. Thanks, man. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. Yeah, I monkey. escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck charm. Ew. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. <laughs> He's ahead. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come He's again. A key part of uh, the first Monkey Island game. You can't beat the Chuck without him. something else to do by then. Stan's Cozy Crypts, a place to spend eternity, not a fortune. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. It looks like it's been sealed shut. It looks like it's been sealed shut. But Stan, really? It looks like it's been sealed shut. Okay, we'll come back to this later. Swamp. International House of Mojo. Mojo Jojo? Just take a little. Guybrush Threepwood. You again. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. 
although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. Here we go. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing, and a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body, and from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take this shopping list. Thanks. Now go. Okay, we have our mission. the beach. Pick up sticks. No, they can't be rid of me. Steaming weenies, 20 feet. Looks closed. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. There we go. Those guys are sick of me. Right, start the game, so I'll leave them in peace. Now. God, I hope I remember how to do this. I think I know how to get some money and get a job in there. Was it? Yeah. Right, so. I kind of remember this. Use the stick with the box. That doesn't seem to work. Nice! the stick with the box now. Now use the string, the stick, use cheese squigglies with the box and I can catch the rat. It won't fit in my pocket. Something of the heads. Yes, I remember that. Didn't he have a toupee in his room? So I can get the first thing. I can get the first thing already. There's strange little white bugs all over it. There's strange little white bugs all over it. Ew. Hmm. Only one guest. You're supposed to leave these things open. I'm trying 
trying to remember how you do this. Hello. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Who couldn't? Yeah, there's, there's the map of this island. What kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world. And there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. Not to me. I don't travel. That's even better. With good maps, you can see the whole world without leaving your living room. You know, I could just sit and talk about what maps all day. Cry? What else is there to talk about? <laughs> Only sissies use maps. Maps are very, very important. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, cartographer joke. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no, be my guest. Okay, guess you can't. I can't see a thing without me monocle. Everything looks all blurry. Yeah, me too. It's blank. Where is that thing? Sorry, mate. I think that'll do as my uh, navigator's necklace. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Lagrange. Yeah, careful, he's you coming. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. A real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From I your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. So, use this, hit that up. Uh, oh, yuck. Now we got something of the head and something of the body. We're halfway there. You think this is a cold soup? Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? Oh, gosh. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. Ooh. In fact, gourmet. our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. This should be interesting. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Now, get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! 
And what's this stuff? How am I ever going to get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of yes. food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? I don't know. How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. First week paid in advance. Sure. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. Let's have a look. Yuck. The rat's been swimming in it. I'm no cook. The fire's out. I hate fruit cocktail. The barkeep would be mad if I left work early. Yeah, but just escape. Where do I go next? Um... I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? It was stolen. Taking it bowling was a dumb thing to do. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Actually, nothing. I don't care about clean clothes. No, I don't have wheat loaves. I didn't think you would. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, mm. but I don't. Let's have a quick look. Da -da -da. I don't remember, how do you get threads? Something to do with the dry cling, I know that much. It's already open. It's empty. Nice. 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 There's strange little white bugs all over it. Ah, I know what to do. Let's get back to that swamp. We need some swamp water. I think I will leave you guys in suspense. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine. All mine. And what am I going to do with that bucket of mud? Find out next week on the next Grim Plays. If you've enjoyed what you've been watching, don't forget to hit that like button. 
can you drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel and if you do don't forget to hit that bell icon because you will be notified on an almost daily basis of these games coming up including Star Trek Online, Telltale Games, The Walking Dead. We've already finished the first Monkey Island and now on the second and we've finished Blade Runner and I've got to think of another game to do by tomorrow. Till then, catch you later.